channel and welcome to a long awaited what I eat in a day as a dairy free gluten free egg free human being I can't believe it's been so long since I made one of these videos because I never realized how many people are genuinely affected by like food intolerances or even by preference they decide to be gluten free or dairy free especially nowadays I just feel like so many people are because you feel better so I really have been doing a disservice to the community by not creating videos about this because this is quite literally my life every day this is gonna be an updated what I eat in a day I'm also gonna take you to Trader Joe's with me so I'm gonna show you like what I buy from Trader Joe's and how much it costs and then I'm, I'm gonna obviously show you like what I eat for certain meals so yeah without further ado let's get into the video and by the way the Sun is like quite literally setting as we speak so I'm sorry if the lighting gets all weird in this video here's my situation okay I don't like cooking. Cooking is hard. I just don't enjoy it that much. I don't want really to dedicate my time to it. So I consider myself more of like a preparer. So I do cook at home like very frequently, but I don't make these like extravagant crazy meals. I prepare things that are healthy and y very yummy. So that's my style. So if anyone can relate like, you're gonna like this video. Duh, uh, 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 uh. Basically, the, my motto is like, I find my staples and I stick to them. So one thing I like to do is I go onto Pinterest and I look up, you can search literally anything, but I always search easy, gluten-free, dairy-free dinners. <laughs> because I feel like with breakfast and lunch, I more just throw things together. Dinner is like definitely a meal that I want to have something a little bit more yummy. And, and I don't want to say complicated because it doesn't even take that long to make the dinners that I make, but just like really good. So I always do that. Um, I have a Pinterest board just for food. And basically what I end up doing is choosing like three-ish and I just eat those all the time until I'm sick of them. So right now my three staple dinners are this like fish and vegetables with like lemon and garlic sauce. Just, I put it all on a pan and put it in the oven for like 11 minutes and that's it. It's so easy. So there's that. I do a seafood pasta, which I love. Well, gluten-free pasta, of course. And what's the other one I do? Hmm. I can't remember, we're gonna get there. So yes, I don't plan or prep all my meals for the week, like I said, I kinda just pick my staples, and of course with Trader Joe's as well, I typically shop at Trader Joe's, and I pretty much get the same things every time, because I just like to snack on and eat the same things all the time. <laughs> so that's what I do, and then of course when I get sick of one thing, I'll like switch it out with something else. So typically what I do before I go to Trader Joe's is I make a list, or in this case now, I'm so used to what I get that I pretty much remember and I pretty much get the same thing every time, minus the dinners, which I switch out. So I do like to make a list if I have new items that I need or if I just don't want to forget anything. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I didn't stock up on groceries today, but I did take you along to Trader Joe's and just awkwardly filmed in public a lot of the like things I get. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and I'm gonna show you what I got. Bananas for smoothies. I like to get these carrots because they're a lot cheaper to get the whole ones. You can get diced onions for convenience, but they're a little bit more expensive. Or you can just get normal white onions for only 99 cents. Mushrooms, I like to get the chopped up ones for convenience, but honestly, I've found that the other ones, if I cut them myself, they last way longer. They have a wide array of gluten-free bagels, which they used to not have. They only had one kind. So my favorite is the everything bagel. Oh my gosh, so good vanilla almond milk and I get a couple because you can store them out of the fridge and they last for a while. A gluten-free cereal. Tomatoes for both my fish dinner and also for any other thing I need vegetables for like breakfast. And you can either get cherry tomatoes, which I usually do just because it's easier. Or if you want to save money again, $2.69 versus 29 cents for each Roma tomato. Pretty good deal. My go-to gluten-free, dairy-free pancakes and waffles. Then I splurge on this tuna salad because literally, you guys, it is to die for. I've gotten everyone addicted to it. We got some healthy chips and some veggie chips, also healthy. Trader Joe's is for sure the cheapest place you'll find goat cheese, and because I can have it, I'm obsessed. And then I either get spicy hummus or cilantro jalapeno hummus. So good to dip crackers, gluten-free crackers, or carrots into. This frozen seafood blend for the pasta that I like to make. And then any type of fish, I get tilapia, it's super cheap and this microwavable brown rice for like taco bowls, turkey bolognese sauce, it's amazing. Then we have this potato and onions and bean kind of frozen breakfast thing and 
finally soy chorizo. So yeah, those are really my staples that I pretty much get every time. Of course, sometimes I like won't feel like having hummus, so I won't get hummus, or I won't feel like having goat cheese. I feel like I was eating way too much goat cheese for a while, and I felt like I was gaining weight because I could literally just eat like a log of goat cheese at a time. So I stopped getting it for a little bit, and then I started again because now I miss it. But you know, that's pretty much like those are my staples unless I switch some things out. And it's pretty affordable, honestly, and like that feeds me for a while. A lot of other stores, when they have dairy-free or gluten-free substitutes, they're very expensive, and that was something I worried about when I first figured out about my allergies. I was worried I would just have to constantly pay more like at Whole Foods or whatever else just because I have an allergy and I was pretty upset I mean I do oftentimes when I go out have to pay like extra for gluten-free bread but honestly it's okay it's worth not dying you know I also just feel like the quality of the food there is really good they have so many like unique dishes there they have like a lot of unique prepared food and a lot of unique and amazingly tasty like frozen meals that you can even add things into and that's what I do a lot as you'll see is kind of take their frozen things and just put my own stuff in it so that it's really quick and easy but it tastes so good and I just feel like other grocery stores really lack those types of options especially in the freezer aisle it's very much like Marie Callender's little heat up meals which nothing against that but I never can eat any of those because they're usually dairy or gluten so I usually spend honestly about 75 to 100 dollars a week on food which I feel like it's pretty good especially considering my allergies of course there are like some meals that I'll eat out I try to do as many as I can in my house but of course like when I want to socialize with friends or when I'm just like sick of what I'm eating then I will go out okay so let's start with the breakfast I typically now work out in the morning, so I try to have a super, super, super light breakfast before working out, and then I have like almost a brunch slash like bigger breakfast, lunch after working out. So often what I'll just have before working out is literally a gluten-free waffle or pancake. I get these from Trader Joe's, both the pancakes and the waffles, and I just pop them right into the toaster. Usually I only have one because I don't want to get super full for my workout. If I'm not working out one day, then I'll definitely eat like two or three. Sometimes I'll also do an oatmeal packet, which I mean, it has a lot of sugar probably, but, and technically I'm allergic to oats, but I'm only like a tiny bit intolerant. So every now and then I'll have some oatmeal and it's fine. Or I'll make a smoothie. For some reason lately, I really haven't been feeling smoothies that I make. I don't know why, like I used to make them all the time. Now I'm just not feeling it. But if I do make a smoothie, this is kind of what it looks like. I use almond milk, I use protein powder to make sure I am getting some protein, and sometimes I even put a spoonful of peanut butter in it. And then I basically just use frozen fruit, which I get from Trader Joe's, raspberries, blueberries, mangoes, basically anything. And typically I would put a banana in this, but again, since I'm going out of town, I didn't have any bananas. But yeah, so basically smoothie, oatmeal, gluten-free waffles, those are like my go-to breakfast items. Another meal that I really love to make, sometimes for my like second breakfast slash post-workout slash lunch, is this Trader Joe's soy chorizo. It tastes so good, so, so, so good, and it's completely meatless, gluten-free, dairy-free, and then also this little frozen packet of potatoes and mushrooms and onions and things like that. I just throw those together and it's like this amazing little breakfast that took me literally five minutes to just put in a pan. Sometimes I'm even too lazy to get out a pan, which is honestly just really sad, but when I'm not too lazy, this is such an awesome meal and I usually top it off with avocado and hot sauce or something of the sort. Oh, I forgot to mention that when I make coffee, which is typically after my workout, I either use the coconut creamer from Trader Joe's or if I'm going to Ralph's or something, I get one of my favorite creamers, which is the silk almond vanilla creamer. So I really like that. So lunchtime. Lunch is usually just typically when I'm hungry next, which honestly varies every day. Sometimes I eat at really awkward times, like 3 p.m. But for lunch, I usually throw together either breakfast food again or what I just mentioned with the potatoes and the soy chorizo. Or sometimes I'll make like tacos or a taco bowl. But another thing that I got are these buffalo bites from this place called cauliflower basically there's this restaurant that's only for delivery that is here in la but it is literally the most bomb they're known for their cauliflower pizza which i'll talk about for the dinner portion because i got it recently and i'm obsessed so i need to tell you about it and you can probably recreate your own as well but for the lunch portion one of my favorite things on their menu is the buffalo cauliflower bites Oh my god, buffalo anything is so good to me, and this is just incredible. Like, you feel like you're eating this extravagant, gourmet, amazingly tasty meal, and it's literally cauliflower with buffalo sauce. It's so, so, so good. So, I had that. Another go-to of mine is gluten-free bagel. <laughs> I like the gluten-free 
bagels at Trader Joe's. I love the everything bagels. They're my favorite. I actually put this in my last what I eat in a day video because I've been eating it for that long. But I love to put hummus or avocado, tomato, onions, smoked salmon or lox is my favorite. It tastes so, so, so good. And then I love putting the everything but the bagel seasoning, which is pretty much just like what they put on an everything bagel, but in seasoning form. It's amazing. So I love doing that for lunch. As I mentioned briefly, I also love, love, love making tacos or a taco bowl with that soy chorizo. I usually just throw in like avocado, diced tomatoes, sometimes diced jalapenos, sometimes like black beans and microwavable brown rice. This is all stuff from Trader Joe's that I can literally just throw in there. I found the best recipe for a dairy-free chipotle aioli because I'm obsessed with chipotle aioli. And I tried this just kind of for shits and giggles and it was so good, you guys. I'm not even kidding. It tasted exactly like chipotle aioli and it was like healthy. It was, and it takes like two seconds to make. And you know me, I don't like cooking. I'm prepare. I am a preparer. So here's another thing you get to prepare. And then for dinners, I will say, follow me on Instagram if you want to see like a lot more dinner options. Sometimes I put that on my story, what I'm cooking. One of my favorite, favorite, like go-to things lately has been the pizza, the cauliflower pizza from Cauliflower. I cannot explain to you how hard it is to find good gluten-free crust for pizza. I'm sure if you guys are gluten-free, you can relate. The cauliflower crust from Trader Joe's, not good. The broccoli and kale one is okay, but this cauliflower crust, from this place. I genuinely don't know how they do it. It is so good. It's like not soggy at all. It's not a weird texture. It's like crispy and amazing and I love it. So I got the pizza that was called the Farmer's Bounty, I think, and I got it customizable. So I basically added turkey pepperoni. The one thing I would say is next time I get it, I'm gonna get either no vegan cheese or just a really light spread. I realized like this is not even on them. They definitely have the best tasting vegan cheese that I've ever had. Other than that, like, oh my God, this is so incredibly amazing. And if you guys live in the LA area, you can get delivery. And also if you follow them on Instagram, they are giving away one pizza a day for the next seven days to people who have followed from this video. So go do that. Why not get a free pizza? It's that good. Also, they are gonna be opening a lot more locations. So if you aren't in LA, I'm so sorry, but they will be expanding. So I'll try to find out where they're expanding to so that you guys know. And you can probably try to recreate this pizza as well, <sighs> but you won't find a crust as good as this. I'm just gonna say that. And then as I mentioned, I love to make my shrimp pasta. I didn't film myself making this because I went out of town, but I will leave the recipe down below. <laughs> Moving on to snacks. What are my dairy-free, gluten-free snacks? I will say one thing, chips and like crackers, you'd be surprised how many really are gluten-free. Chips are very often corn or potato. And I remember when I first found out, I was like, oh my God, I can never eat chips, but like, it's not true. So I, first of all, am like a sucker for salt and vinegar chips. I also really like these flaxseed chips from Trader Joe's because they're a little bit healthier and I can dip them into hummus. I can dip them into guac, salsa, anything. I can even put it in like goat cheese. I also really like these veggie sticks. They're just like very healthy and delicious. I always love a good like pickle, anything with hummus pretty much. Okay, so that was information overload and I apologize but I hope this was helpful. That is like what I've been eating lately in a day. In terms of going out to restaurants, I definitely have gotten used to what I can and can't have. I'm pretty much fine modifying anything at any restaurant. The only restaurants that are just more tricky for me are Italian restaurants. Anything Asian or like sushi is very gluten dairy free, super like good for me. I also just found out that ramen places oftentimes have gluten free noodles. I thought forever that I couldn't eat ramen, but <laughs> newsflash, I can and it's really good. So ramen I really love veggie grill. I like tender greens. I like sweet green. I like all these places, uh, Tokaya Organica. There are so many good places. Those are like LA staples. So I don't know if you guys have those in your neck of the woods. But yeah, that is what I have been eating in a day. Dairy-free, gluten-free. Um, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know any more suggestions for like food-related topics or health or working out or anything like that because I am totally happy to do more stuff like that. Thank you for being here. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.